Good morning, North Coast. My name is Monet, and I'll be your presenter for this morning. We've got a jam-packed show for you with great guests on our show. First up is our Weather and Surf report brought to you by Megan and Victory Surf. But before we get into the Weather and Surf, I just want to thank our sponsors. Thank you to The Hair Shack, Puza Water and La Montagne for being our sponsors for the morning show. Let's get off to the weather and see what's in store. Good morning and welcome to your weather for today, brought to you by Victory Surf. Today will be mostly sunny and beautiful with a high of 23 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. The real feel will be 24 degrees and the real feel shade 21 degrees. We have a south south westerly wind at 13 km per hour and wind gusts at 43 km per hour. Also, 8% chance of showers today. The sunrise will be at 10 to 7 a.m. and the sunset at 9 past 5 p.m. Joburg, sunny with a high of 20 degrees and a low of 5 degrees. Pretoria, sunny to partially cloudy with a pleasant high of 22 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. And Cape Town, sunshine and patchy clouds with a high of 17 degrees and a low of 9 degrees. Next up will be your surf report brought to you by Dion Bossman. Good morning, Belito, and welcome to Wednesday morning's beach report. And a nice buster southwesterly has hit us early this morning, and that will whip some swell into uh, the contest area at the Belito Pro. Um, it's going to be a little bit washy initially, um, but it's definitely going to improve the conditions. Um, and the wind will start dropping off towards the afternoon. So some high performance surfing by the Brazilians already and um, some really, really good contest conditions coming up later this week. Um, we set on the first and second round of the Belito Pro currently. So go down to the beach, watch some of the world's top surfers in a QS event uh, brought to you by O'Neill and watch the waves get bigger. It's going to be a great day on the beach. Enjoy your holiday and catch some waves. Well, now that you've seen the weather, it's going to be a fantastic day in Belito. And uh, I'm very excited. Tony, it's our first time yes, together <laughs> on the set. And I, you know, I just love you. Uh, Tony is one of my favorite inspirational uh, speakers. Um, Tony, we're talking this morning about programming. Yes. And it's not about IT programming. No. No, definitely not. Tell yeah, me morning, about money, it. and morning to the viewers. Yeah, it's good to have you in that side of the, the yeah, camera. Too many. Usually, you're behind the camera, yeah. so it's good. Yeah, this morning we're talking mind programs. Uh, you know, for many, many years, Monet, I always believed that our thoughts were automatic and I didn't have control over it. So whatever flowed through my mind, I just had to accept. Until, you know, not, not so long ago, I started to realize that we do have a control over our mind. Hmm. But let's go back. Let's go back. When I talk about mind programs, I'm talking about all the stuff that has been, uh, we've carried over the years in our, in our mental capacity. And this has been stuff that, are, that has been working for us, it helped us, it served a purpose. This has come from teaching, from our interaction with people, our experiences in life, even the trauma that we've been through. But very often we compare the mind to a computer, uh, our, our drive. You yes. know, we, we want to defragment and, and, and declutter that and get rid of the bad sectors. And we do that often with our computer. How often do we do it in our minds? And we should do it. Yes. In fact, it should be done more often than we mm. actually do it with our, yeah. with our laptop or computer. But the point I want to emphasize is that it can be done, number one, and it should be done decluttering of our minds mm. and I'm going to talk about how we do that a little later mm. on but we've carried so much of stuff that it's been overloaded and now we're actually using what we used to use years ago to face and confront stuff that we now see which is not working yeah that is why people are saying I'm in a bad financial situation I'm not in a good relationship I'm really not in a good health uh, you know in a situation with my health and things they're complaining but the reality about it is if we change the way we see this then it's going to change. 
It's like we're building up a framework of the past yes. and that we're using that as a reference, which yes. is absolutely incorrect. It's just not working out. Yeah. It just doesn't gel at the mm. moment. It's not resonating with what we're currently going through. Even more so with having COVID having had us locked down for, for almost two years. The point I want to make is that firstly, you've got to make a decision that I want to start decluttering. Mm. I want to really get my mind program to the, to the state that it should be, not yeah. what it was. So the number one point is to commit to the fact that you, number one is to make a decision, right? That this is what I'm going to do on a daily basis. Now, there's the point that I want to emphasize here. It's not like just deleting on the computer mm -hmm. and saying it's all gone. This is requiring yeah. daily practice. Yeah, because we are in a, you know, I've seen it with myself so many times and people around me. We are in this, you know, rut routine yes. of getting up, doing your thing. Yes. And, and it needs to be a daily. Yes. You need to set it, maybe alarm or something. Yes. And say, listen, I'm going to spend time with this now. Yeah, you're quite right. I call that the premium hour. Mm. You, you get up a little bit earlier than you normally do, but that must be the time you dedicate to yourself yeah. to defragment and declutter. So once you make a decision, set your alarm clock. And last time I did talk about how to get up when your alarm mm. goes off. You know, leave the alarm clock quite far away, so you have to get out yeah. of bed. The second thing is commit to the process. Yeah. Now, when we start anything, like going to the gym, starting a business, all of the stuff, it always gets a little bit messy at the beginning. It always is. Con con realize that that's what you're going to go through. Mm. So when you commit, you're going to make sure you're doing it without any fail on a daily basis. Mm. It has to be done. The best time to do it is in the morning. Yeah. Here's my question, Tony. You know, and this is, you know, we t you, you're talking about this and, and, and it sounds wonderful. My question is how? Okay. How? Now you get up, your alarm's been set. Right. How? Right. How do you clutter the, uh, declutter the mm -hmm. mind? The, 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 the point that, that, that's a good question you ask, it's very important. One of the ways of doing it is to visualize what your intention is. Okay. Visualize the life you want to live. Mm -hmm. live. Visualize the financial position that you want to manifest for yourself. Spend at least 10 minutes visualizing this. You see, the subconscious mind does not know what's reality and what's imaginary. Yeah. So when you start imagining and you're bringing in this whole thing about your power of your imagination, you're actually drawing all the factors that are going to contribute towards mm. you ending up with that kind of, yeah. uh, that, that what you manifested. It's the same with your relationship. So one of the very, very crucial uh, uh, ways of doing it is to visualize. Yeah. The other thing that you can, should do, Monet, is to re-script your life. Mm. Rescript your life. It sounds a lot like also the goal setting yes. thing is to write it down, yes. put it up. Yes. So when you take this hour in that ten minutes you talk about yeah. is 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 to visualize it, but to see it as well, yes. to read it. Yes. So you write out your goals and you write it in the present tense as though you've already achieved it. Yeah. And you put it out there that I'm so happy and grateful now that I own a new vehicle. And this mm. is the be very specific about it, right? So now I have a, I have a gold card. Now, this is coming from uh, Bob Proctor, my, my mentor for many years. Yeah. And, and he passed away, but may his soul rest in peace. It's a, it's a gold card that you keep in your pocket. Mm. Every time you touch it, it reminds you of going back mm. and reading it. Right? That's it. I was talking about scripting as well. Scripting is to write out your future life in the present tense. Mm. What do you want in the future, but bring it down to now? So that you're seeing it and you're believing it and you're going to receive it as, it as the days go by. That's it. There's, there's various other ways. You can actually do this while sleeping. There's a there's number of uh, recorded programs on YouTube that you can actually use as well. Yeah. To let that become the a... The unconscious mind yes. listen yeah. to that while yeah. you sleep. Yes. So that, those are some of the things mm. that can be done. But look, it, it's not easy, but it's well worth the effort. Yeah. And it is crucial. It is absolutely crucial. Tony, I think between me and you, we can go on forever. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, we just recently, in my company, um, I've got various companies, and we did goal setting yeah. uh, last week, Friday. Uh, so the whole office is just full of scripted and, and, and goal setting. Yeah. And it's reading them every day. Absolutely. Tony, thank you very much. It was such a pleasure. And I can't wait for me and you to be on the couch again. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's to start your day with um, decluttering. Make sure that you get up and uh, start the day right. When we come back, we have some interesting, interesting guests on the, on the seat with me. So don't go away. See you soon.
Welcome back to GMNC and for our weekly slot we've got Neville back on the couch. Neville, the last one we, me and you spoke uh, and were on the show, that was an interesting one. And I think today is going to be another interesting one. What do you have for us today? I see there's a bag next to you. Yeah, there's a bag next to me, but it's nothing to be worried about. Okay. okay? So you can chill, you can relax. Like, uh, uh, always good to be back on the show. I brought uh, a visitor which is very unusual for our winter period. Okay. And um, particularly interesting because we've been having such a cold winter and snake activity has been so low. Mm. And so we had the opportunity to go and collect this guy. He was uh, just popping in at one of our takeaway places. Takeaway places? Yeah, I, I think he was after a burger or something. Uh, I don't know what it was, yeah. but yeah, he was after something. And uh, last week we spoke about dentistry and this guy's dentistry is also particularly interesting. Hey. This is a, a short snouted whip snake. They are extremely fast snakes. I can see when you, uh, you, oh, you can and, see them. And uh, very edgy. Um, often confused for black mambas because the color is a little sort mm. of mamberish color and uh, because they're so quick. And when they set off, they keep their heads raised up a bit like a mamba does. I can see, yuck, it's very quick. And so uh, you have this, this mamba characteristic movement, but you'll notice he's got a lot of gloss on him, which you don't see with mambas. Mm. Is it venomous? So he think. is venomous. Ah, okay. And uh, this is why I say he's, he's of particular interest since last week's slot was about dentistry. Yeah. Now this guy is a back fang snake, so if you look at the eye, you'll see that the fangs are situated just on the back edge of the eye. Ah, okay, not in the front. Uh, not in front. And um, where snakes generally have one venom fang and in the, in the situation, you know, one either side, and in the situation where they're replacing them, they may have two either side. These guys mostly have two and then they have a third one. Ah. So uh, two venom fangs, quite interesting. Venom, uh, mildly venomous, uh, really of no consequence to humans. Ah, okay. <coughs> so when you say mildly, headaches or not even really headaches? Yeah, you know, Mono, when I went to school, and just in case of people are doubting I did go, I did go, all right? <laughs> it was only a few days a year, but I went. Yeah. And um, we believe that these guys and the heralds and the other little backfang snakes gave you a headache if they bit you. But I remember you said last time it's more of the adrenaline rush. And the, it, because you were bitten, uh, you're afraid now, you're afraid, yeah. of, and, and that causes the headache, not the actual Not the venom. venom. The venom is not responsible for the headache. But, um, yeah, and then uh, in this week, we've had a couple of warm days. It's been quite pleasant since yeah. we've gone through these very cold spells. And um, during these spells, we've seen quite a bit of activity again. Mm. W w when it was a bit warmer. When it, when it was warm, yeah. Okay. So, um, we've been doing the odd black mamba here and there, uh, inland, obviously. Cool. And then uh, a few other little odds mm. and sods. Yeah. Um, Neville, it's it's school holiday. Um, mm. Has activities picked up at, at your reptile park? Ye uh, yesterday was absolutely nuts. Oh, that's great. It was such a fun day. Anybody who missed yesterday missed out big time. Mm. <coughs> we had, um, I, up, I in particular did a tour for a group, uh, quite a big group. And uh, one lady was absolutely petrified of snakes. It took some talking to get her in. Oh my goodness. But by the time she left, she climbed in the cage with that big monstrous Burmese person we got there, sat on a little plastic chair and had the snake all over her. Can you believe it? Yeah, amazing. Just oh, as soon as you fantastic. change perceptions, fantastic. what happens? With this holiday time, it's, it's, it's just absolutely crazy in Belita. I mean, we've got the Belita Pro going. Mm. I mean, I see just the activities cars are the roads are filled up with cars what do you guys have you know planned uh, during this time or why can why must people come in uh, to the red bar park <coughs> well it's our usual offering where we do tours you know we do everything flat out mm. all the time nice so we don't have any special seasons or whatever but what's nice about our park is that we've got very knowledgeable guides yeah and uh, we're always open to education yeah. So if you've got any queries about snakes, that's the place to go. 
Very, you know? very educational. Very educational yeah. and factual. Yeah. So we're not feeding you something that we heard our grandfather say after he's had a half a dozen beers, mm. you know? Yeah, yeah. We're telling you the facts. exact facts. You're yeah. getting the exact facts. Neville, it was absolutely amazing talking to you again. And uh, if you're watching this program, make sure that you make a turn at Nblonlo Reptile Park. Um, it's holiday season, and, and it's, it's, I think it's not even only for the kids, Neville. It's kids, parents, um, you know, go visit uh, Neville and Helen, and you won't be sorry. Neville, thanks, thanks again for, for being on the show. Super, Mona. Thanks for having us. It's, a, it's only a pleasure. When we come back, some uh, exciting interviews. Um, so stay tuned. Models KZN is a unique modeling and finishing school based in the heart of Belito. Classes are available to both boys and girls from three years and older, with the focus being on developing confidence and building a positive self-image. Weekly classes take place at the beautiful Relax Inn, where students are guaranteed to have fun and are often pampered and spoiled with hand and nail treatments while learning about hygiene and self-care. The makeup and hair classes are a hit amongst the girls, and this learning is taken further with them being taught how to dress according to their body shapes. Etiquette and manners form part of the learning, as does posture and poise. And the Simply Models team are always incredibly proud to see their models walk with confidence when they take part in fashion shows and events. The best part of the classes offered is the lasting friendships that are formed. Get in touch with Simply Models today by calling 064-379-5663. You like it? Border paint. You like queuing to pay electricity? <laughs> Don't think so. Border paint. Wait. So I can use it? Even if I'm on another network. Vodapay. Off to do the monthly shopping. <laughs> it's done. Really? Yeah, well, Coco. And we get rewards. We like sending and receiving money now now. How about when the combos communicate? Vodapay. You like good times with friends? Introducing Vodapay, the one app for anything and everything. Like it, Vodapay it. Welcome back to GMNC. I've got the absolute pleasure of speaking to one of, one of my favorite people, <laughs> Karen Lundman. Um, we, won't, we won't talk about your, your maiden surname. No, <laughs> no not today. <laughs> not today. Goran, I'm excited. I don't know much about what we're going to be talking about, and that's maybe a good thing, but it's all about Miss Belito Teen, and it's not teen like the, 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 the number. The no. number. <laughs> Miss Belito Teen. Tell me about it. Yeah, we're very excited. We have a lot of young girls that's between the ages of like 12 and 17. You know, the parents always message us and they say they would love for the girls to enter Miss Bleeta, and we have to explain that no, Miss Bleeta is only from 18 and over. Yes. So it's been a long time that we've been thinking and seeing how we're going to do it, but we finally decided to start with Miss Bleeta preteen and Miss Bleeta teen. So okay. it's so much of excitement happening at the moment, yeah. and we've already got entries, and girls are just so excited to be part of something that they, they've been following mm. for so long. You know? Yeah. What is the age for Miss Belito teen? What is the starting age? You, I know now it's up until 17, but what yeah. is the entry age? So the girls for the preteen category is 12 to 14, and okay. for the teen it's four, uh, 15 to 17. Yes. Okay, so there's two categories. Two categories. Yes. And when is that happening? Is it going to be this year? Is it going to be next year? It's happening this year. So we wow. already, like I said, we already have entries. 
We are looking for a few more girls that would like to grow and experience this whole adventure because it's that's what it's all mm -hmm. about you know they get to make friends they get to get involved in the community so it's all happening the entries close this week friday this week friday yes, so yeah. if you're out there mom or dad and you've got a, a child from 12, 12 to, 17. to 17 there's two categories which they can enter it's a great experience i know i've been yes. part of you or, you know involved with you guys with my daughter megan uh being involved lot last year and also this year i'm doing a lot of stuff with you guys um you know enter there's going to be details on the screen uh so please enter corin so what is the requirements for them to enter is there is there any rules or requirements yeah as long as they live in the Blito area that helps a lot because we do a lot of fundraising events and a lot yeah. of community projects in our area okay. so that would be the first requirements and then obviously you know they must just be willing to learn and to mm. um, you know be part of the whole pro um, project because yes. it's, it's basically a project they start by entering and then they have to find two sponsors as well they each have to do a little community project and attends workshops and photo shoots mm. so it's quite a busy time but it's very exciting and for it's them. good experience for them they're going to get exposure they're going to get like you said there's photo yeah. sessions um is there a, a big event coming where where the, the, everything's going to be announced or they're going to be announced so um they're going to enter they're going to be part of workshops and photo shoots and then we'll have a breakfast for the moms and the daughters together mm. where we will just share what the journey is about it's a wow. fundraising breakfast and then we'll have a crowning event. Nice. So it that's all happening this year still. Crowning also this year. It will also happen so this year. So it's a year. busy year for you guys. It's I know Miss Belito uh, alone is, is a busy time for you guys. And now yeah. you're adding, adding another pageant. Yeah. So we're looking at our crowning evening for end of the year in November. Nice. Um, yeah. So it's all happening. How many spots is available? Is it the same as Miss Belito? How many spots will you be choosing uh, or filling up for, for this round? So we are looking at about 12 finalists in each category okay. and then they also have to get two sponsors each and they have to do their community project. So yeah, they, they are excited already, the girls that entered, they're not even being judged or anything yet and they're already, you know, sending messages of what wow. they can do and how they wow. can get involved. So how, many, how many entries did you have so far? We've got about 15, so oh, wow. we are looking for a few extra. That's, that's a nice start for, yes. for the first one. And I believe, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but this would also be a nice start for them, for the big pageant, Miss Belito, yeah. uh, in the future when they, when they get to that age. Yeah, and we're also looking at involving our current Miss Belito finalists mm. and our previous Miss Belito um, winners to also guide these girls because they as look mentors. up to them. Yeah. yeah, so they will be like mentors. They're oh, already role models. The girls look up to them, but they follow them. Yeah. And it's nice to see that they have someone that they can look up to. Corin, tell me a little bit more about, I think this is not, you know, a lot of people think beauty, beauty pageants and they think, oh, it's just about beauty. You guys do a lot for these girls. You, you mentor them and they go through a lot of not only training, but, but um, skills through this. Yeah. Yeah, so at the workshop there as well, we are getting in, uh, motivational speakers in mm. to guide the girls, to teach them things that every young lady should know. Should know yeah. So yeah, it's um, very much about etiquette and manners and public speaking and just giving them confidence mm. to be the best version of themselves. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Corin, thank you very much. It was a privilege speaking to you. If you're out there, a parent, and you've, you know of a young girl that... that, that can ent enter or want to enter, please do so. It's a wonderful experience. It's not just a beauty pageant. It is so much more. Thank you very much. Thank and you uh, so we'll much. talk again. We can't wait to see this, this pageant. Yeah, so people can follow the Miss Belito team Facebook page and Instagram page and follow all the girls that's going to be um, finalists. So we're very excited to see that. Fantastic. Thank you. When we come back, we're going into the ad break. And when we come back, another exciting interview. See you soon.
Welcome back to GMNC and we've got a new kid on the block on the chair with me, Lisa van Rooyen. Sounds like a very Afrikaans surname. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is an Afrikaans. Uh, Lisa owns Belito Dresco. Now, Lisa, tell me more about Belito Dresco. What is it? It sounds like clothes. Am I correct? Yes, it is. Uh, we do bridal and evening wear hire. Mm. We do sales as well, but it's more focused on hiring that perfect dress. Um, you generally, if you go to a function, you always want a new dress. That's so right. it just lands up in your cupboard. So why not hire it? Exactly. So it's just so much easier. We've got over 85 different wedding dresses. We've got like oh. over 80 evening dresses, all different sizes, all different looks. So yeah, it's perfect for, for especially it. the Belito crowd yes. doing all these lovely events. Yeah, we, we're so used to, I think a lot of people in Belito don't have evening wear because we, we're so used to be, being casual. Uh, exactly. When I got dressed this morning for, for the show, you know, I had to look like I had an option between two, two shirts uh, because <laughs> we're so relaxed. But there's a lot of events happening. I mean, we just came out of Miss Belito cocktail event. There's Miss Belito final event coming up and much more. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what, I mean, I think the, the, the difficult part is when you go to the normal chain stores, you might end up wearing the same dress as somebody else at the same party. Exactly. And that's so not good for ladies. No, it's not. You never want to go to the same party wearing the same dress as that's the girl it. next to you. So yeah, we've got such a big variety and things. So you'll never land up at the same so function with the same dress. It's evening wear and bridal. So if yes. you want to get married, there's a dress for you instead of buying it, which can be very expensive. Exactly. Um, so, so we've yeah. got designer dresses, but mm. at affordable rates. That's so it. you hire your dress, you can look like a designer bride walking out on your special Fantastic. day at a fraction of the price. Yeah, I think we're going into bridal season now. I know of a lot of weddings happening, so if you're getting married, you haven't got a dress yet, speak to Lisa. Lisa, where are you? I mean, I, I, we just had a quick discussion before we started. Where are you based? We're in the Maker's Yard. It's a new centre. It's right opposite Mshlali. Awesome, lovely centre opening. Actually, like half of the centre is owned by women. The oh, wow. business is inside. That's so fantastic. it's a women-empowered centre. Yeah. So it's really nice. Social media, where can people contact you? Um, so it's Belito Dress Go. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and we've got a website coming up soon. Um, so yeah, we do all that. Well, if you've got an event planned uh, where you have to dress up, um, I think there's a lot of events happening in Belito. We just had the German Durban July, which is all about dressing yes. up. But there's a lot of events coming up. And if you need a dress, uh, speak to Lisa. I'm yes. sure you will sort them out. Yeah, now especially with the COVID restrictions yeah. that's dropped a bit. So yeah. more weddings are happening yeah. and things like that. What are you also planning? It's not just the dresses. You said something about makeup. Tell us more about that. Yeah, we're actually having makeup classes done. Um, there will be scheduled days. So you basically come in, you get your dress, you can have your makeup done, your nails done. So we're all in one stop. 
one-stop shop. Yes. Um, so Face It will be doing all our makeup for us Fantastic. and lessons and things like nice. that. Nice. It sounds wonderful. We hope you all the best and I believe you're going to be busy. Uh, oh, yeah, you're going to be busy. It's not a lot of places in Belito where you can actually rent dresses. So no, there's not. All the best uh, being in the new centre as well. And uh, go like their Facebook and Instagram and social media pages. Go check them out and you know where to get your next dress. See you soon. You know, the, the good thing about finishing is, is your building is an imperfect science. So we're taking, you know, massive structures and we're working down to plans and, you know, big blocks and cement, and, but we're working on plans that are down to the millimeter. So, you know, we've got all of this very bulky work and what have you that we put together, but at each stage, we afforded an opportunity to refine mm, the finish the finesse, yeah. to allow us to, that when we get to that last coat of paint, where we've got a micro millimeter worth of thickness you'll measure that wall and it'll be bang on square you know but it could have been 20 mils off before you plastered but again mm. you got plastering it allows you to fix you got skimming which allows you to to fix and refine so you know we certainly uh, take pride in making sure that at each stage each day of the finishing process we're using it uh, adequately and, and correctly to achieve that perfect finish yes and with with talking about finishing so often and i've seen it for myself just with people i know is that somebody sees a paint that they maybe like, but it's on a paint card. And then it, when it gets put on the wall, it's totally different. You have to deal with these sort of things, like tiles arriving, that's floor tiles. Yeah. That somebody might think, oh, that is my perfect tile and I've chosen that. How do you deal with this? Do you go with clients to select it? I know you do work with architects and interior decorators and the likes of them. But this part of the process is so, so important. Yeah. Look, it, it, it's, it's personal. Mm. So, so we, we, we may not be the same as a lot of other, other companies or what have you, but we prefer to put it onto the owners to supply. It's your tiles. You know what you like. Mm. I mean, I can suggest to the nines what I like and what have you, but once the contract's over, I'm out of that house. Mm. You're going to live there, not me. Correct. So. You, you know what you want. Choose your tiles and, and spend time and in, uh, ifing, uh, ifing and butting, you know, do the due diligence because I know in my experience, this is what I like. You know, I know that the trends are this, Yeah. but that's me. 
you know, um, it is really you. I, whatever you give me, I will fit and I will put in and make it as nice as possible for you to enjoy. Yes. So bathroom accessories. I don't, uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to go in and, and select your blinds, you know, mm. a nice palm tree or what have you. And you were once in a hurricane and, and, and now you terrifies you every time you open up the window. So, you know, it's a personal choice. So, yes. so take the take the opportunity to make it yours, mm. you know. Um, so, and yeah, paints, I mean... You know, paints paints a tricky one. You know, you it's always good to stay within um, you know what's what's popular and 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 what have you. Um, feature walls and what have you can get very flamboyant and exciting, and and some very bright colours that you didn't even expect were on the on the spectrum seem to appear. Um, but it, it is also we work with quite a few interior designers, mm -hmm. which, to be completely honest, make our life a whole lot easier. And and as the client especially people that don't know or don't have experience with renovating, getting an interior designer involved to whatever degree of their service that they offer you, whether it's just specifying or actually following through with other details, it's so good um, because it just gives you that peace of mind to know that the selection of finishes that you've got is one quality materials, they're mm. in fashion, they're trending, they're not going to die out uh, very soon. And two, I know exactly what I'm getting and what I need to put in. Yes. Um, and who's supplying what? You know, most often the interior designer will have their network of suppliers and yes. we will offer what we can and, and if it's reasonable. But yeah, so, so we'd encourage the use of interior designers. Like I say, we, we use a few that are in our network and available on all our platforms to view and, and, and all the rest. So yeah, definitely useful. Coming up on our Chapman Building segment next week, we'll be continuing with today's topic.
Well, that's a wrap. Uh, I want to thank all our viewers, our sponsors, and all our guests, and our crew that made this amazing morning show possible. Without you, it is beyond the bounds of possibility. We will close the show with a music video. Have a great week, and we will see you again Friday morning. From me, Monet, have a great week. Absolutely.